This hack tip is brought to you by Carbonite. Welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm your host, Shannon Morse, and today I'm doing some comparison shopping between KeyPass and LastPass. Your passwords are crucial to protect, so I love checking out software and tools that can help. Sadly, my memory only goes so far. Today, first on my list is LastPass. With this program, your master password is the only password you'll ever need to type in, only when you're first logging in to LastPass. Since your master password is encrypted on your machine and only you have access to it to unlock data, it'll protect you from all sorts of theft. By using your LastPass account, available over at lastpass.com, you can synchronize across a bunch of different browsers and computers. Now, they also have a service for a dollar a month for your mo mobile devices, hmm, if you want it. You can securely store notes, automatically fill out forms, import and export already existing passwords, generate a hack-proof one for new sites, and you can try out a portable USB version that is compatible with Firefox and Chrome portable apps, because you know I love my portable apps. First off, to use it, you need to download the version of that is compatible with your operating system. You'll need to create a master password when creating the new account, so make sure that this is a very, very secure one that hopefully you won't forget. LastPass doesn't keep a backup or a copy of the master password, so they don't know what it is. You can let LastPass find unsecured data on your computer, import those items, and it'll let you delete them as well. Now you'll need to restart your browser and click on the little LastPass star in the corner and log in. Okay, so I'll log in. And click log in. Okay, now I can start browsing the internets as usual and LastPass will remember all of my passwords as I enter them in. Now when you first go to a website, like I'll go to ThinkGeek, because it's one of my favorite shopping sites, you'll have to enter your username and password like usual. And then a bar is going to show up at the top telling you that it can remember it. So I'm gonna log in and click go. And this little green bar appears at the top. It says you can save the site, never save it, or not now for LastPass. So I'm gonna choose save site. And it takes me to this nice little LastPass form. Now from here, what you wanna do is keep the URL, enter a name. So my name is going to be uh, ThinkGeek. And I'm gonna add it to a group. I'm gonna call this group shopping because that completely makes sense. I think I already have that in there, shopping, yeah. And then I need to put in my username and the password. So username will be And you can add notes if you really want to. After that, you can choose any of these options below. You can favorite it, require a password reprompt, which is pretty good if you're, you need a very secure computer. You can auto login, which I really like, and you can never auto fill. So I'm gonna choose auto login and save. Now, when you log out and go back to that main page, you'll see your changes take effect. I chose login, so it should log me in and I don't even have to do any kind of typing whatsoever. Let's try that out. I'm gonna log out real quick. Now it says you're not logged in. And it says LastPass had filled your login information for, from, from this page, so I'll choose autofill. Log in. Hit go, and there we go. It logged me in perfectly. Now what you can do is click on the red star and it'll show you a nice drop down of all of your preferences, your vault, and other stuff like autofilling forms and whatnot. If you choose your vault when you click on that, go to my last pass vault, it basically gives you a nice listing of all of the groups and all of the websites. And you can just simply click on a website and it'll take you to it and log you in. So if I do Jinx, I'll click on Jinx. I also have this one set to auto login, so it automatically logs me in. Now if you're out and about and you need to access your vault from a public computer, you can also log into LastPass via their website. And if you're worried about key loggers, you can use this nifty thing called a virtual keyboard to enter your password with your mouse, so the key loggers can't catch anything that you type in. I'm gonna try that and see if it actually works, because it sounds really cool.
and I need to click on show keyboard. Okay, so there's my virtual keyboard. Now my keyboard should still work. And then I should be able to just click on my password. Yeah, and it should log me in. Now I'm putting in the wrong password because I don't really want to share it, but when you actually click sign in and you're using the virtual keyboard and you put in the right password, it should log you in just fine. LastPass is pretty cool when it comes to remembering your passwords, but what about KeePass? I'm going to check that one out right after our break. Computer disasters eventually happen to everyone. Your computer crashes, it gets infected with a virus, you drop it. But if you get Carbonite Online Backup before your disaster, then no need to worry because your files will be backed up automatically and safely off-site. And it's really, really easy to get them back. Plus, you get anytime, anywhere access to your backed up files from any computer or on your smartphone or iPad with a free Carbonite app. With Carbonite, unlimited backup for your PC or Mac is just $59 a year. That's less than five bucks a month. But when you use the offer code HACK5 to start your free 15-day trial, you'll also get two months free if you decide to buy. All the details are at Carbonite.com, and remember to use the offer code HAK5 to get two months free with purchase. KeePass is a powerful, free, and open source security tool designed to keep your passwords and your username secure. Everything is encrypted inside a database, kind of like LastPass's vault, that you can access with a master key password. KeePass features drag and drop, a clipboard copy, a password generator, it can do auto-locking, auto-typing, it imports and exports your database, and tons more. It also encrypts everything in AES-256 or 2FISH encryption. And did I mention that it's free? I really like that. Like LastPass, KeePass can also organize your entries into categories, which is extremely good for somebody that's like super OCD like me. It's available in classic or professional editions, with the main difference being the supported OSs. The professional, which is the obvious choice, supports Windows, Mac, and Linux. Now, after you download the program, first you want to save your new database to begin working on it. You'll need to create a master key, but you can also access your database with a Windows login or by inserting a key disk. That's pretty cool. Next, you can create a description, name, and color and choose what to protect. I'm going to go ahead and do this. Type in my master password. Okay, I'm going to create a brand new database. And I'm going to call this new database uh, test. Click save. And this is where you'll create your new master password. Okay. My database name is going to be test2 description test. And I'm going to make this yellow or an orangish color. That sounds cool. There's a whole bunch of other options that you can choose as well. All right, so you click OK, and then you can right click on the sample list. From here, you can add, you can edit and delete websites and usernames and passwords. And to use a password or a username, you can click copy username, password, or site by right clicking as well copy username, copy password, or the URL. This will copy to the clipboard for about 12 seconds before it wipes it completely clean. And you can also move the new entries into the tab categories to the left by dragging and dropping. So if I wanted to move this one into my Windows passwords, I can just drag and drop it over there and it should appear. Now I'm gonna create a new one just to test it out. Add entry. And to add a new one, I'll call this Twitter, my username snubs, and the password. And I should be able to open that in the browser. And then I can Copy and paste and sign in. And it works! Yay! Although I do like the functionality of LastPass way more than KeePass, 
especially its easy use, KeePass is still open source. It's completely free, and it has a portable version as well as its mobile version. All of this is free, which is awesome. I love free. Okay, so I want to hear your feedback. Which one is your favorite? I like both of them for different reasons, so I, I don't know, I can't choose a favorite. They're both pretty cool in their own ways. Let me know what you think or what program you use by emailing me, tips at hack5.org, or send me a note in the comments below. And be sure to check out our sister show, Hack5, for more great stuff just like this. I'll be there reminding you to trust your Technolust. Twang!